Hey, it's Abdullah, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a couple of tips and tricks that I personally use to get the best out of my own Nokia devices. These tips should work on devices across multiple price points. So it doesn't matter if you have a fancy Nokia or a budget-friendly Nokia. They should work all the same. And I'll be focusing on three main aspects. Speed, customization, and how to get the best out of your phone's camera. Did you know that you can make your Nokia phone faster? The trick here is to speed up the animations, which take up a lot of processing power for what is essentially just eye candy. In order to do this, you need to enable developer options. So go to your phone settings and then about phone. From there, scroll all the way down until you reach build number. Press on build number multiple times quickly in order to enable developer mode. Now go back to your settings and go to system. Near the bottom, you'll find developer options. Press on that. Scroll down till you find Window Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. Set all three of these to 0.5x. Or you can completely disable animations by pressing on off. I like to keep it at 0.5 because it feels a bit more natural and keeps some of the eye candy still there. And that's pretty much it. You'll immediately notice that your phone is now quicker when it comes to launching apps as well as scrolling between different pages. Speed tip number two is always keep at least 5% of your phone's total storage empty. So if your phone comes with 64 gigs of built-in storage, keep about three gigs unused. When you completely fill up your phone's storage, memory read and write speeds become incredibly slow. And this has a huge impact on your phone's day-to-day -day performance. Speed tip number three is if you're using a micro SD card, make sure you actually get a fast one. We're lucky that the majority of Nokia devices support an SD card slot. So if you want to expand your memory, make sure you get a fast memory card. Two things you need to be on the lookout for when you're buying a memory. One is the class type, and you should be looking at a class 10 memory card. And two is UHS, which stands for ultra high speed. So a good memory card will have a speed of over 120 megabytes per second. The second area I want to talk about is customization. Some people love the simplicity of the stock Android experience that comes on Nokia devices. But if you want to buy a Nokia device and you care deeply about customization and the ability to change whatever you want on your experience, you can actually do that very easily by downloading a launcher. I also think that the best place to experience a launcher is on a stock Android device because it lacks all the bloatware you'll usually find on other devices. If you want total control over your traditional Android home screen, I would highly recommend Nova Launcher. So you can totally play around with your home screen, your app list, remove the Google search bar, for example, and download third-party icons to make your home screen your own. You can also create your own gestures for quick access to certain things. Honestly, the amount of customization settings that it provides is ridiculous. Make your Nokia phone look like it's running on Windows phone with an app like Launcher 10. Customizable live tiles and all. Or you can go with something completely different like the Ratio Launcher, which focuses on productivity and wellness. I've used it for around a month and I really like the features that it offered and it's very different than what you're used to with your stock Android experience. By the way, if you'd like to see me cover more custom launchers in depth, let me know in the comments. The last aspect that I want to focus on is the camera. If you're unhappy with your phone's camera performance, I would highly recommend downloading Google Camera or Gcam. It depends on your device, of course, but it usually enables you to capture images that are sharper and can help you capture excellent low light images too. Unfortunately, you can't download it from the App Store for obvious reasons, so you'll have to find it on Google. A working Gcam port might not be available for every single Nokia device, but chances of finding a very good port are very high if your phone has a Snapdragon processor. Even devices like the Nokia G20, which doesn't, also have a working port. Tip number two is, if you're using the stock camera app, experiment with night mode even when you're not in low light situations. Yes, it makes capturing a single image take longer, but you will notice that it will capture a sharper image with a stronger HDR effect. So don't be afraid to experiment with it even outside of low light situations because you might really like the results. Speaking of the stock camera app, did you know that a long press on the viewfinder enables you to lock the autofocus and the exposure while you're capturing a photo or a video? I was surprised that a lot of people don't know this and it's quite useful. If you capture a lot of video with your Nokia phone, I would highly recommend using an app called Open Camera. It just gives you so many additional and very useful options to play around with 
when you're capturing a video, such as locking the exposure, color temperature, and ISO. You can also change the bitrate of the video so you'll be able to capture higher quality video. And the final camera tip is that you can add very good video stabilization to your videos even if your phone doesn't support that option while you're recording. So if you have a budget-friendly device and the videos that you're capturing are very shaky, all you have to do is go into Google Photos, select the video and go into Edit, and from there click on the icon that looks like two rectangles, one inside the other. Then the phone will process the video and add excellent stabilization to it. It does crop a bit from the edges of the video, but honestly it works extraordinarily well. Even if you're walking and recording at the same time, applying this effect makes a night and day difference to the stability of the video. I hope you found these tips useful and do check out my review of the Nokia Z launcher, which was a very innovative launcher that Nokia was working on for Android back in 2014. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and I shall see you in the next one.